Meantime, President Trump is taking a firm stand on the actions of both shooters in those two states, as many call for tougher gun laws. He's condemned white supremacy and also announced plans to battle gun violence in America. Adam Harding is in studio with new information about that plan. I think it's kind of interesting what he didn't talk about. Well, and he put it out on Twitter yesterday. He talked about wanting tougher background checks. He said mm -hmm. he could marry that with the idea of immigration reform. But in a series of tweets, that was what the world was expecting to hear. And then he took to the TV stands yesterday and prepared remarks on television and made no specific mentions of background checks when it comes to the purchasing of guns. Instead, Monday, the president denounced white supremacy, saying he has pledged more federal resources to combat domestic terrorism. He also criticized what he calls the glorification in video games and called out social media. He also talked about restricting the access to guns by the mentally ill and those who pose a threat. Democratic lawmakers are still pressing Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell to bring lawmakers back to Washington so they can pa pass a House passed background check bill that's up for a vote. The shooter in El Paso posted a manifesto online consumed by racist hate. In one voice, our nation must condemn racism, bigotry, and white supremacy. These sinister ideologies must be defeated. Hate has no place in America. Hatred warps the mind, ravages the heart, and devours the soul. We have asked the FBI to identify all further resources they need to investigate and disrupt hate crimes and domestic terrorism, whatever they need. We must recognize that the Internet has provided a dangerous avenue to radicalize, disturb minds, and perform demented acts. Now to the latest on the shooting investigation. The death toll has risen to now 31, with two more victims dying Monday after the shooting at an El Paso Walmart. We have learned that the accused shooter has at least made one comment to investigators, and now police are questioning whether he acted alone. We've learned he lived about a 10-hour drive away from El Paso. Investigators say he posted an anti-immigrant manifesto online before the shooting, where he expressed support for the Christchurch, New Zealand shooter who killed 51 a few months ago. In Dayton, Ohio, CNN is now reporting that the accused shooter's apparent Twitter account did like several tweets about the El Paso shooting, including tweets about supporting gun control and others that called the El Paso shooter a terrorist and a white supremacist. The accused gunman was shot and killed by police. A motive still remains unknown. And the FBI this morning warning the public that it remains concerned that last weekend's attacks could inspire domestic extremists to carry out even more acts of violence. Tracy? Yeah.